Good morning, Grade Six. Welcome back to Grade Six Mathematics class. Hope you all are doing great today. Let's start a new chapter today, Chapter Fourteen, Practical Geometry. So this chapter is about geometric constructions. So what do you mean by a geometric construction? So when you draw geometry figures such as lines, curves, polygons, angles, and so on. Using different geometrical tools such as a ruler, a compass, a divider, etc., you call that as a geometric construction. Geometric construction is the process of drawing geometric figures using tools or instruments such as a ruler, a protractor, a compass, etc. So to proceed further in this chapter, you need to have a geometric box with you. I hope you have a geometric box with you. Let's get familiar with the different geometric tools in a geometry box. We all are familiar with a ruler. All of you have seen a ruler like this, and you have used a ruler like this. We can see there are two set of markings. A ruler is a strip of wood or other material having a straight edge. You can see the ruler has straight edges, and usually centimeters and inches are marked off on a ruler. We use a ruler to draw and measure lines. Now let's see the next tool in a geometry box. It is a protractor. We have learned about angles and measuring angles and constructing angles with a protractor. So this is a protractor. It is a semicircular instrument, and there is a base line for a protractor, and there are two set of markings starting from zero to one hundred eighty degree. The two set of markings are two scales: the inner scale and the outer scale. Both the inner scale and the outer scale has got markings from zero degree to one hundred eighty degree, and each smaller division corresponds to one degree each. So with a protractor, you can measure angles in both clockwise and anti-clockwise directions. We'll see geometry constructions using a protractor later in this chapter. Let's see the next tool in your geometry box. It is the compass. Let's see the parts of a compass. So at the top there is a hinge. About which you can hold the compass. There are two arms for the compass. One arm has a hold for holding a pencil, and the other arm has a sharp pointed edge. So this sharp point will keep the compass fixed onto a flat surface while taking measurements or drawing circles or arcs. So compass is used to draw or scribe circles and draw parts of circles called arcs. Now both arms of the compass are movable about this hinge. Now let's see the next tool in your geometry box. It is called a divider. What you see here is a divider. So it's similar to a compass, just that does not have a hole for pencil. Instead, it has two arms which are movable about a hinge, and both arms have sharp pointed edges. Now we use a divider to scribe circles, to take off and transfer measurements, and to compare measurements. Now let's see the next set of tools in your geometry box. We can see two set squares like these in your geometry box. These are also called triangle protractors. We use set squares to draw parallel and perpendicular lines in our geometry constructions. So now I hope you all are familiar with the tools in your geometry box. Now in your textbook there is a flashback exercise given in page number two hundred five. Please go through the flashback exercise. It will brush up your knowledge in geometry, basic geometry. And in the next page, that is page number two hundred six, you can see a workout activity is given. So please go through that activity and do accordingly. And below that, there is a table given about the different tools used in geometric constructions. Please go through that as well. So that's all for today, children. In the next class, we'll see how to construct line segments using. different geometric tools so see you all in the next class till then bye